Hey, how's it going, my friend? Good. Yeah, so I'm interested in debating the topic of veganism. Would you be down? Veganism? Okay. Yeah, so do, do, do you eat animals? Yep. Did you see any, any ethical issue with it? No. Okay, so let let me ask you this: Like, would you be against uh, a hum at the systematic uh, Holocaust of human beings for hamburgers? Yes, eating people is bad. Okay, so uh, what's true of animals that, if true of humans, would would uh, make you ac accept this, the same sort of treatment in the human context? Well, I mean, I think animals are non-sentient, right? Non-sentient? So you, you don't think animals have a, a capacity for subjective experience? Like they can't suffer, feel pain, like uh, feel well-being, stuff like that? I feel that they don't have a capacity for higher thought of, um, of, um, of being conscious of their own existence. Uh, they not, what do you mean they're not conscious of their own existence like you 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 accepted that they uh can suffer and and feel pain and 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 uh, like they they can value their own lives for example correct uh i mean it depend by what do you mean by value right like a computer can value right? i think i think of animals as like these complex machines um they they have no capacity for language they have no capacity for reason um you know that's why we say that they don't have sentience um, yeah, so, so I, I would I, dis I, 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 I would disagree that that's the definition of sentience. Sen sentience or consciousness is just a, a capacity for subjective experience. So let me ask you this: huh? Do you admit? Do you admit that there are certain humans that have no capacity for language or uh, reasoning oh, yeah. skills? Yeah, like a Terry. What's her face? Terry Shivo, right? Like she was brain dead. Yeah. So w would you say it would be fine to Holocaust mentally disabled people or children? Um, I'm actually kind of like a eugenicist, so that's kind of like a bad argument. Um, I would say that like civilizations have the right to sort of set the standards of behavior, uh, for that sort of thing, right? So as long as there's a civilization that is there to enforce the, the civil rights, the human rights of like their, their lowest caste or whatever, um, that's, you know, that, that's kind of how that gets negotiated, right? Okay, so so let me make this clear. You you would you would say it's fine if like some sort of group of of humans were like outside the the social contract that it would be fine to enslave them and and systematically yeah, yeah. slaughter I mean, them. That's that's basically that's basically how war works, right? That's basically like what works. War. I mean, I I don't think so. I think there's a uh, justified war, for example. Uh, I think you got it backwards. I think, you know, the winner of the war justifies it, right? They're the ones that set the, the standards for justification after the fact. Okay, so, so let me ask you this. If, if Hitler were to succeed, would you say it would be, everything would be ethical and fine? Yeah, I mean, if, if Hitler succeeded, right? Like, we'd be in a different universe where, like, you know, all of his presuppositions would be just accepted as common fact, right? But w would you accept that, that uh, would you s look at that situation from, from outside and say, uh, yeah, what Hitler did to, to the Jewish people and stuff like that is completely ethical? Well, I'm not Jewish, right? So I don't care. Oh, so, so you would say it would be ethical to Holocaust uh, homosexual Jewish people, the disabled? I mean, the homosexuals are coming after our kids right now, right? So it would be fine to Holocaust them? I mean, you say Holocaust, I say, you know, arrest, right? No, uh, I'm, I'm like the situation I'm asking you about is, is where in a situation where we put the, the humans in, in, a, in like the, the same scenario, the animals are right now, the animals that you're supporting for, for your meat eating and egg eating or whatever. So like, like a factory farm, would, would, would that be fine if we were to put uh, LGBT people there and, and Holocaust them for hamburgers? LGBT people are sentient. Didn't you say society uses their own standards? Like, why did you mention that then? Because you're, you're, you're talking about animals, and then you're talking about humans, and you, you were asking me about my 
you know, what, what are my stands for humans, right? And I'm explaining to you, like, they're different, right? No, that wasn't the question. The question is, what's true of animals that, if true of humans, would justify the systematic uh, slaughter of the latter? Right, there, there is none. Humans and animals are different. So the, the difference is just uh, being from uh, the species humanity? Our species has a unique capacity for sentience, yes. What do you mean he unique capacity? Like there are mentally disabled humans, right? But yeah, but they still, the human species still has the capacity for that, right? Would it be fine to holocaust the mentally disabled humans for hamburgers? That, that's a different question, right? That's, you, you're asking about holocaust, right? Or war, right? Uh, I'm actually I'm ask, asking specifically about uh, so ask slaughter, me, slaughtering ask on a mass scale for hamburgers. How how do you yeah okay so the answer is no, right? I don't support factory farming for humans for to support the cannibal humans that want to eat the other humans, right? Okay, so my my exist. yeah my question is what accounts for that dif different ad attitude? Why do you think it would be fine in the animal context and not the human context? What's the the significant difference? The se the human sentience. Human sentience. What do you mean, human sentience? Define define human. I mean, just sentience, right? Humans are are uniquely sentient. Right? If there was, like, for instance, if we lived like in a Dungeon Dragons or or Tolkien fantasy world where there's like orcs and elves and all these different species uh, that all that have uh, the, the the same capacity for sentience, right? Like, I wouldn't support orcs eating elves, uh, you know, even though they're different species. But we don't live in that world. We live in a world where it's just us, right? We think. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, 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 species in the universe. Okay, I, I get what what you're saying. Are you making some sort of like uh, a species normality? Uh, do you have a species normality position? So, like, w like what you're saying is that because on average humans are uh, have higher cognitive abilities, that that's what what's making it wrong because this species on average is is sent more sentient than other species. Yeah, I mean, there might be an interesting thing there of like, like um, Rocket Raccoon, right? Like, maybe like his original species wasn't capable, but like through augmentation, now he is sentient, right? So, you know, it would be wrong to eat Rocket Raccoon because now he's sentient. Um, but uh, you know, what, what that, the that hell? What the hell is Rocket Raccoon? What do you mean? Of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, okay, so, uh, I get what you're saying. So if, if if any being reaches the level of uh, yeah. So what what I understand there is because you're si simultaneously like making a a species normality uh, di uh, uh distinction. You're saying is because on average that they're like they're like that this, but then you're saying if if another species one of the beings uh turned out to be uh more sentient than the others, it would be wrong to to murder that being specifically? Yeah, uh, my, my, my position is that all sentient life uh, deserves to not be eaten, not to be killed for food, right? All, all sentient life, a animals are sentient, dude. Like the definition of sentience is uh, just a capacity for subjective experience. So you're just using the term incorrectly. Okay, I mean, we can, we can go into that. Um, like, uh, are, yeah. it, what you're referring is is it sapiens what you're referring to mm. that, that yeah no i kind of think of them as the same thing but yeah but not all humans are sa are sapient so what i thought you were making is a, like a species normality argument in which w you value the human species as a whole because on average we are sent we are sapient well i would say i wouldn't say on average i would say that um a better way of putting it is that is that like our, or maybe like our genetic capacity for it, right? Like a the natural growth of the human is is, is sapience, right? And so you know, like maybe brain dead, brain damage, that type of thing. That's kind of um, that's un, unnatural in, in a certain sense. Not in the sense that it's it doesn't happen in nature, but rather it is um, counter to the um, to the expected outcome. Okay, so so let's say that some sort of like virus uh, hit humanity, 
and it, it changed our DNA in a way where like the the norm w would no longer be uh, sapiens, and it, they might only the minority would remain sap sapient. The other ones would be mentally disabled. Would it be fine then to holocaust uh, the species for hamburgers just because the on average they're not sapient anymore? Well, you're suggesting like a zombie uh, outbreak, and I would say yeah, no, like no. It's, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say zombie outbreak that that like paints the situation as like like negative. Uh, I'm saying they're just mentally disabled. Uh, they not they're not like man eaters, zombies or anything. They're just mentally disabled, with the minority of humans still being uh, as equally sapient as uh, somebody like you or me. That is interesting. Uh huh. So what would be your, your answer? Would it be fine to holocaust uh, the species for hamburgers? Well, I mean, they're the same species, no? Or, or what? What do you mean they're, they're the same species? They, they, like, they used to be humans, right? Uh, like, you're, they, they used to be humans. Let's say that the virus changed their DNA in a way where they're no longer... Uh, human, generically speaking, but they they look identically, uh, f physically identically to us, and they're they're mentally identical to to mentally disabled people that exist right now. They're just you know the DNA was changed. Would it be fine to holocaust say, for hamburgers? I want to say yes. Like if if like half the human species or, or some number, like if like they sort of magically decayed into like an animal state. Right. Um, and if they're like running around naked and like, you know, eating animals, like, you know, just chomping at them and stuff like that, um, you know, if they if they lose that sort of capacity for for reasoning and, and, and sapience, like it, it doesn't it's not going to feel as bad. Right. I wouldn't say it's the same sin. Um, OK. Yeah. So but but to, to be clear, they are like subjectively identical to, to like mentally disabled people that that you value right now. It's just that now the the whole species on average well, is I mean, like that. Even even mentally disabled people like like they they do have sapiens, right? Like you know. Yeah, so let's say they people, they don't have uh, they don't have sapiens to a greater degree than like a cow has sapiens. I mean, yeah, I mean that you know at that point like they're kind of they're kind of like barely human or not human. Yeah, but do, do you accept that there's some humans that exist like that right now, like humans that can't use language, they can't use tools, they s exist in a similar subjective state as that as like pigs or cows or something? No, I, I, I really can't wrap my head around that. You'd have to show me. You know, my, by the beginning of the discussion, I kind of went to a Terry Schiavo, uh, like a completely brain dead person. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just stuck, you know, a, a, a person that's mentally disabled, dude. Yeah, I, I'm sure you've seen people like that. They just can't use language, can't use tools. You can't. You couldn't say by looking at their yeah, behavior that, that they right that now. they. You you couldn't you couldn't say that they are any degree uh, more sapient than an animal, but by just looking at their behavior. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm kind of thinking of a specific um, case right now that I saw in the news. Not that um, uh, you know I. I, I, you know, like, you know, don't get mad at me, <laughs> but I do kind of feel that, like, you know, it, it is less of a sin. Um, but, but would you say it would be ethical? That's, that's the question. Would you, like, support an industry that Holocaust of beings like that? Uh, like, in the same way you're supporting the media industry right now? No, I mean, and here's the thing about, like, you know, our, our natural predator um, state, right? Is that, you know, there, there is a trade-off of like, you know, the animals that we eat sustain us. And so I think that, you know, it, it, there, there is that good that comes out of it, right? And so like the question might be better, like, is there a way that we can ethically kill the animals? Is there a way that we can sort of um, minimize the, the suffering? And I think that is a, that might be a good argument to make. Um, because I, I do acknowledge that animals do have a capacity for suffering, right? Um, but I, yeah, so I, why, why, why not eat something else? We're, we're like, uh, we, uh, we, like, we, we lost, uh, why not just eat vegetables, right? Yeah. Why, why not eat non-sentient plants, uh, instead of like, you agree animals have a capacity for suffering. So why exploit them? 
why not like extend mercy and compassion to them? Um, I mean, they they wouldn't appreciate it, right? They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't you know, they're not sapient. They don't understand those concepts. Um, yeah. So again, the yeah. distinction, the distinction you gave was uh, like uh, hu human uh, level sapiens. So again, you would be fine then uh, holocausting uh, hu humans with the with uh, mental abilities of this disabled. In other words, mentally disabled humans. If it turned out that the whole species was uh, like uh, not the whole species, like the majority of the species was disabled. Like uh, I'm not sure if you answered. I mean, it 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 sounds like a kind of like a like a tautology. Like if you if human beings were magically transformed that might be a better question like if there was you know in in greek mythology there's there's like magic spells that you know transmogrify people into the pigs and stuff like that right like that that might be an interesting question but i would say that like you know an animal once a human being becomes an animal it's like not it's no longer a human being anymore i don't know how uh, a human that. being is already an animal by the way so that would be a category error we already animals no but we're we're sent we're sapient animals right that's yeah. That's so really uh, what I'm asking, what I'm asking you is yes or no question. If it if it happened, like it turned out that like ha like uh, the average of hu the the average would no longer be sapiens uh, in humanity, uh, like some sort of vir vir virus hit, uh, some like some sort of disease yeah, that like, made the the average if, if, uh, if disabled. Snapped, would it be fine? If Thanos snapped human half of the human beings into a a, a savage animal state um i would not feel that i would say that the sin uh the, the harm that had been caused to them was that snap that took away their sapiens not you know cannibalizing their bodies after the fact i would say that you know that's not the um the the, the sin is is destroying sapiens and if there is none there then it doesn't rise to the same uh level of 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 uh, of ethics violation as killing a human being. Right? Yeah, and then to be clear, that they're like subjectively identical to like mentally disabled people that exist right now in society. You would bite the bullet that it's fine to holocaust them if like it that it, it would just turn out to be the the average. I mean, maybe like like you know, it, we also have to ask questions like, is there a possibility of restoring them? You know, in this. You know, in this science fiction fantasy scenario, but yeah, let's, uh, let's just say yeah. it, it wasn't a possibility uh, of restoring it. Like, uh, you know, ha like more than half of the population was disabled. Uh, would it be ethical to Holocaust for burgers? Yes or no? Uh, yes. Oh yeah, then then I think uh, I mean at least you're intellectually uh. uh honest and, and consistent but i think that's insane that's, that's, a, that's, that's an insane view uh i mean like why though yeah because i think uh most people would would listen to to your your position of, of it being okay to holocaust beings subjectively identical to the to the mentally disabled people or, or children in our society that we value right now they would hear that and say that's that's insane that like that's that's wrong like what make what gives value to those people is not like, like uh the the their DNA or or like the, the their body or like the the number the the average number of, of sapiens in the species. They're value valuable in uh like intrinsically. I mean, are you are you coming from this from a materialistic standpoint? I don't know what you mean by that. I mean, you said body and their DNA, right? Um, yeah, the, the so reason like, I said that. The, yeah, the, the reason I said that is because it sounds like you have like what's called a uh, uh, a, a shell morality, which, which you're you're valuing like the the shell of of being human or being a, in a species where on average they're sapiens instead of valuing the beings uh, for for who they are intrinsically. Interesting. Yeah, so like, uh, uh, you would be fine uh, with uh, like taking away human rights. Uh, I think like that's the sudden safe position. Uh, so yeah, Wh why why not extend moral consideration to other beings then, man? Like why why 
Holocaust animals if we can just eat non sentient plants. I've I, I conceded that I do support uh, extending moral consideration to to non to non human beings. I you know I just say that you know that uh, you know the, the the distinction matters, right? Like the the level of consideration we would extend to them does not extend as much as as with humans. Yeah, why 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 not extend a right to life, uh, a right to their own existence? If we we can just eat something, we have alternative. We can eat something else. Why the hell exploit them, murder I mean, I, them? That I mean that that is a a uh, an an anthropomorphic or, or an anthropocentric view of, of the world, or, or or like morality. Like I think that you know the Earth is like a it's a biosphere, and the animals, the life in it is are you know. They're struggling to compete already, right? And that's kind of like the natural process of like animals and life eats other life. Um, so for us to say that like, you know, it, it's peculiar that like you don't want to eat other animals because uh, like you value animals, but at the same time you have like this sort of double thing in that human beings are animals too, right? Well, if, if human beings are animals and animals eat other animals, then why is it unethical for this animal to eat chickens, right? Yeah, I mean, like, uh, I don't know why I, I see it as an appeal to nature. I don't, I don't see that uh, like us being animals in a planet with other animals eating animals. I don't, I don't, I don't see that as a justification for for continuing to to violate rights and and produce suffering ourselves. Like animals rape each other in nature. They eat their own babies. Sometimes they commit infanticide. Like, would would you like to imitate that as well? All anthropomorphic or anthropocentric views of looking at it, right? I would say that 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 is just what life does, um, and we are necessarily separate from that, right? And so, no, we don't do that. But not only that, but like you know, it 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 it, 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 it kind of sounds absurd to to talk about animals raping each other, right? Um, but anyway, um, yeah, no, my my I, I my, I my hope. At, <laughs> Is that like that? Um, that like the, the entire Earth is filled with organisms that are like, you know, inherently gonna you know cause suffering to each other, and and it would be an impossible task to to minimize that. Like you know, it just you know, it, it just it just seems absurd. It's like you know, where where do we draw the line, right? Like. Yeah, I I, I I just see that dogs and cats or bees or or microorganisms like yeah I just see that know. as an appeal appeal to futility like of course there's gonna be some wild animal suffering and all sorts of uh, things going on in nature but wh why would that justify us uh, like uh, like exploiting animals ourselves we can just choose not to and choose compassion instead like why like like Yes, well, that there's, I, I do believe there's gonna be there's always gonna be a certain degree of suffering, but what like would you be fine with torturing animals? Because like there's there's some animals ripping other animals apart in nature. Would you be fine with animal cruelty and torture? Well, I, like I honestly believe that the reason that animal cruelty is it's it, it is it's it's not for them. It's like for us. Like it's it's to teach people not to be sociopaths. Is kind of my guess on why that exists. Because it does seem to be like a sort of like confusing thing that we'd be okay with like killing an animal, eating it, but like you know just slicing it up for fun, you know. But um, but as you said, it, it's it's about you know not we don't want to cause um, undue harm that isn't necessary, right? That we do extend a, a, some some level of um, of of I guess care or or duty to to animals, right? Um, Okay, so why but, um, why 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 murder them for food if it's not necessary? Then you said it yourself, it like it, yeah. And why I, why I, slaughter I, them? I do well, I, I'm using I'm going that, with a, a non anthropocentric definition yeah, yeah, of murder, so. but no. But I do think that a healthy human diet does consist of meat. Um, so I I think that might be like the best way. Like you know, if if you could show me that I could achieve all the things I could in life. Uh, with eating vegetables just as if like, it was eating meat, like that, that would be something to think about. Um, yeah, so it, it's uh, actually that's actually the case. So if you if you see the 
the statement of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, which is the l largest body of, of nutritional experts uh, and scientists, like they came to the conclusion, uh, according to all, all the available evidence, that plant-based diets are not only uh, uh, nutritionally adequate, but they are beneficial for health and the prevention of, of deadly diseases like heart disease, uh, di diabetes, certain types of cancers. And, and, it's, and it's actually uh, nutritionally adequate throughout all stages of the life cycle, including pregnancy, childhood, and including for athletes. So you can even be like an athlete, bodybuilder, or whatever, as long as you're consuming enough uh, calories and, and, and protein. Uh, and if you supplement with B12, you'll be fine. Okay. So again, wh why, why uh, support uh animal cruelty and exploitation if we can just eat plants and be as, as healthy but you can look it up yourself by the way just uh, academy of nutrition and dietetic statement on plant-based diets um okay. academy of what academy of nutrition and dietetics uh vegan diets you should you should find it that way okay i think i got it here um I have a uh, I have one specific question for you. I, I saw an argument sure. maybe like on YouTube um, that said that uh, to to clear away the um, the crop field um, that they have to go in and, and kill like a bunch of uh, bees and insects and like uh, rodents to do so. And so um, it. it in, in that in that specific example, um, it would kill more animals to uh, scale up the agriculture. Um, does that uh, does that factor into your into your into your um, rational process? Yeah. So so a couple of things there. Like uh, there there are a, a certain degree of of crop deaths. That's true. We use th things like pesticides as well to kill insects. Uh, the the thing is that the animals that we uh, kill for food they have to eat as well. So they, they actually eat like a, a, about 80% of the crops on earth, like by, by calories and mass. So we're actually, we're actually be committing more uh, crop deaths by, by just having animal agriculture because like land animals do have to eat plants before they, they get slaughtered. So just by a math, just mathematically speaking, you would be supporting way less uh, crop deaths by, by going vegan. Uh, and the second thing there, it's not clear to me that there's a rights violation in the crop death scenario. Like there's like no practical, practical way against that. We have certain like, uh, like I, I do believe in, in like property rights. So I, I uh, like, I like the, and, and feeding ourselves as humanity, like the, there's no like pragmatic way to, uh, to not like cause a crop deaths. Uh, but you know, like it's clear to me that I'm committing a rights violation when I pay for animals to get holocausted in like for, for meat or eggs or dairy. So you are okay with, with uh, maintaining the border and maybe killing animals that would come and, and, and eat the crops. Uh, uh, again, like uh, I'm not sure uh, uh, there's a, a rights violation there. Like you're pr protecting like food security. You're, you're, you're like it's it's your property and stuff. So if if we were to trade equalize those animals with humans, like if they're for some reason they appear like uh, very small humans that we we couldn't like reason with them and they were like fucking around with our crops uh, and and there was any there wasn't any pra like a practicable practicable way to get rid of them. Yeah, like it would be fine to use pesticides on those uh, mentally disabled humans, <laughs> but uh, you know that yeah. <laughs> All right, because uh, I just you know I don't talk to a, to a lot of vegans. That's that's very interesting. Because um, if I if I understand you guys, it's the the, the sin is eating the animal. That's kind of like the big objection, right? Um, no, but also, no, not, like, no. That's that's actually not the, the the big objection. Like the the objection is the rights violation, like the the murder of the animals. Like if you if you were to like find like some sort of roadkill and eat the animal, like who who cares? Like I don't see the rights violation there. If you were to eat like uh, lab grown meats or or like if you were to mercy oh, yeah. kill an, an animal or if you kill an animal in self defense or something and you ate 
the body like who cares like what what we care about is the uh, the rights violation like veganism is a logical extension of like uh, of the idea of human rights interesting the the lab grown meat uh would that be a solution you don't have a problem with that huh yeah no, that, that would be a like like a clear solution if, like it we we can make affordable like uh like uh lab grown meat like that would make the animal agriculture completely uh lab absurd and and, and ridiculous to, to keep supporting that we agree yeah i think so <laughs> okay yeah but, but by the way by the, by the way yeah but, but by the way we all it is already ridiculous to accept it because we do have plant-based options so why why continue supporting that well, I, I told you, I, I, you know, I, I don't accept the assertion that uh, that is it is unnecessary to eat meat. Uh, but do you, do you do you do you saw the, the the statement of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, right? What would be the, the disagreement? Yeah, I'll have, I'll have to look into it. No, I, I just, just you know I'm 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 skeptical, right? Like. Okay, so if it, it's, it's a, an empirical question, uh, it's an empirical question. So if it turned out that you actually mm -hmm. did your research and plant-based diets are uh, good for you, would you accept that veganism is morally superior and, and maybe obligatory? Morally superior. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Maybe. And would would you say some moral obligation to go vegan if it it is the case that you can be healthy and get everything you need on uh, plants? I mean, maybe that too, in a certain sense, because one of the things about about you know plant based diet is that it's more efficient, right? Like we could we could have more people, we can feed more people too, right? Yeah, so, that's that's true. You know, that's true. If you if you read you like know, the the latest climate report by the United Nations, that they, they actually came to the conclusion that we could like uh, create more food security and feed more humans with less land with with a plant based system. Yeah, yeah. So those are interesting things too. But it's funny though, because I'm like kind of not a socialist. So you know, I'm kind of more concerned about like. Um, I, my my thing is that if 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 a society can can be sustainable in that sense, um, then then that that is okay. Um, are you socialist by any chance? Uh, I'm not. But yeah, if you care if you care about sustainability, like uh, like animal agriculture is one of the leading factors of like like environmental destruction and climate change is also one of the leading factors of of pandemics like like uh like just zoonotic diseases are like mo most of them come from from animals for sure <laughs> that and the chinese <laughs> all right well it's very nice talking to you uh I, I do feel that this was actually one of the more productive conversations i had here on discord Oh, I'm glad to hear that, man. Know. Thank, thank, thank you, and 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 I hope you reflect on your values, and maybe you go vegan someday, my friend. <laughs> You're welcome. Take care. Take care.